can lose it. Garrido mops up. Probably an ideal term to use tonight. Judged it up, didn't to, to do with the conditions, and then, then he lunged for it, the goalkeeper, and then knocked Zamorano over. Well, that really was uh, a rather crude trip. Well, Zamorano lost control, he brought it down, and then it rolled away from him to his right hand side. Which he, he loses it then, it's rolling away, and then once the goalkeeper puts his leg over and knocks him over. I mean, it's a definite trip. So, Del Salar telling Purizaga all about the penalty and which way to dive. Del Salar should know because he's a University of Catolica player and knows a lot of these Chilean players very well. Plays in the Chilean league. And a penalty to Chile. They lead by a goal to nil. And a chance to make it 2-0 from the spot. And they convert that chance in the rain in Concepcion. And that's why a team is always likely to attack them down the flanks. Yeah, and get the extra man over at the back. And they're through again here. Hirano, again the goalkeeper made a brave save. That one's in though. Peru have scored. Hirano with the initial breakthrough and it looks like Maestri who's with the goal scorer Maestri really was a carefully weighed chip into an unguarded net good skills here by Yanez who missed the first game of the Copa through suspension how about that for a save it's gone in anyway Zamorano suspect has got it again and Zamorano makes it 3-1 well it's a super run to the knee Olivares he can strike them and head him La Rosa Hirano Maestri oh they've come back into it again well it's a fixture and a contest which just refuses to die. Yanez. I still think this game has got perhaps one more goal left in it. Yanez. Great skills. Oh, it's the hands of Arano. Oh, what a finish. And that combination of Yanez and Zamorano.